everyone, it's Elizabeth from Fern Creek Stickers and I am here to play in the week of October 3rd. So first of all, let me go back and show you how last week turned out. Let's see what, there we go, there's Monday. Um, I did not do a very good job of filling in my habit tracker and I actually need to get this updated with new habits for October. So I'll pull that out. So I'll just do a quick flip through last week. And I need to, after this video, I'm gonna film the October plan with me because I need to get that figured out too. So there's this past week. Um, so I liked, really liked that really nice fall kit. So pull out the pages for this week. This is gonna be kind of a short plan with me because we have fall break this week. And I was thinking about it and like realistically, when I'm off, I don't really look at my planner very much and I know I'll have stuff I'll want to do but I think that just making a list on a notepad is the way to go because there's not stuff I'm gonna have to do on specific days so I'm really just gonna plan Monday through Wednesday because those are the days I'm really gonna use my planner I do really quick want to show you before I get into this week I want to show you I know I've alluded to a secret project and I wanted to show you a little sneak peek of this so what so I got I'm gonna have monthly kits for all 12 months available for Black Friday. So this was something I really wanted to be able to do, but I realized that with the advent calendar and just other stuff going on, it was gonna to be too much work for us to do this in-house. So I wanted to see what would happen if I got these stickers manufactured. So I just got April ordered as a test to see how it looked. And I was really happy with how they turned out. So I've already, um, I know, a couple of weeks ago, I finished getting all the months designed and submitted, so I will have these all for Black Friday. April is the only one I have now, but I'm super happy with how they turned out. So there will be one other sheet that comes with each kit um, with scripts on it, but I don't have that here. But this deco is like on washi paper, so it's really, really pretty and really nice because it's kind of transparent. And then um, the foil is, I just think the foiling is so pretty on here. So this is like the main sheet. And then this has the holidays and sidebar. I love how these foiled holidays look. And then you also get a sheet that has a ton of labels and boxes. So anyway, I'm getting these made for 7x9 and A5 Erin Condren. So they will be available in two different sizes. And I will share all the details later. But I, I know I've alluded to a secret project. So I did want to show you the sneak peek of what I have so far for this. So I'm going to be using this week the Purple Sparkle Kit, which was, this was actually a September kit, but because I used the Mystery Kit one week, I didn't end up using it, and as I was picking out a kit for this week, this one was just speaking to me. I didn't grab as many sheets as normal. Again, I'm only really planning for three days. I'll go ahead and put the headers down for every day because that way my planner won't seem quite as bare, but I, I just realized, like, realistically, I'm not going to look at my planners, my planner the day I'm on fall break. I just need kind of a list of the things I want to get done. So. I've got this and then I have scripts and I also realized once I got up here that I forgot to grab the bottom washi so I just grabbed this roll of Simply Gilded that I think coordinates quite nicely with this kit. So I'll start by putting that on here. Um, at this point my office is on is upstairs and the Fern Creek stuff is in the basement and uh, going up and down the stairs is a little bit of an ordeal. So. I, when I make it upstairs, I'm like, I think I'm going to wait a little bit to go back down. It's not worth going back down to get some bottom washi. This is like one of my favorite washi tapes ever. And my ruler, I just had it because I was swatching some washi. I feel like there's like a little desk elf that comes and takes away my stuff. I just had my ruler here. I don't know what happened to it. I'm sure it'll show up, but... Sometimes it's amazing how things just walk off. There we go. All right, so what has been going on here? Well, I, you know, this is, you know, the cliche. I can't believe that it's October already. Time is flying by. And I also can't believe that it's fall break because that means we're like halfway through the semester which is just wild to me. So, but fall break is always nice to have time off. And I do prefer the fall semester because of that. Cause like the spring, the spring is rough. The spring semester I do feel like always really flies by. I've used up another whiteout. Why do they always get used up when I'm on camera? 
And this is why it's a good thing that they sell this in a 10 pack because I have plenty of them. But anyway, the spring always flies by, but it's like you in the spring, you just get spring break and we get the whole week of Thanksgiving off. So with fall, between fall break and Thanksgiving week, it's, it's quite nice in the fall. So anyway, fall break coming up. Um, but I think it's also right now, it feels like it's, you know, time is flying by and it's like getting real. Like I've got a lot of stuff that I need to get done. All right, and now my tweezers. I know I also, I was working on my memory plan yesterday and I was using my tweezers. Where did they go? Aha, I found them. They were hiding under my habit tracker. Let's see, okay, I tried centering these last week and I feel like they were off center all the time and it kind of bothered me, so. I'm gonna go back to putting these on the sides. So yesterday, so I'm filming this on Sunday, and yesterday some of my friends from grad school had a virtual baby shower for me, which was a lot of fun. And it's just fun to be able to celebrate with people that I wouldn't get to see in person. And who are, I mean, people, let's see, my friends are in Utah, Kansas and Illinois. So uh, a little bit all over the place and really fun to be able to celebrate with people virtually. And also since I won't be able to go to our big national conference this year, it's fun to get to see my friends because usually these are people that I spend quite a bit of time with and hang out with when we are at a conference. So fun to see people virtually like that. Um, and yeah, and it's just fun to be able to celebrate because we've had a few people had from grad school had babies over COVID. So we've done a few virtual showers and it's just fun to be able to celebrate with people even if they are not nearby. And I have another one of my really good friends from grad school is gonna be coming in town for a different baby shower. Um, and it's gonna be really fun to see her because I, like between COVID and we ended up like not going to the same conferences and various things. I have, I went to, her, the last time I saw her was when I went to her baby shower and her son is now three and a half. So that has been way too long. Time has just flown. Ooh, everything is falling apart here. So we, I mentioned last week, I feel like I talked all about the wildlife that we see and we have seen, we've kept seeing the, um, the two fawns and their mom coming back. Although we did later in the week, we ended up seeing just the two fawns and they were really close to the house. So I got some really good pictures of the two fawns and I'm gonna be curious to see if they stick around. Some of our neighbors do have deer feeders. We, I don't think that we're gonna get into having a deer feeder <laughs> for various reasons, but so we do have neighbors that intentionally work to attract the deer, but we are not. But the somehow I guess they seem think our house is a safe place also part of it is we have these um their bushes they're called beauty berries and it wasn't I wasn't familiar with them until we moved here but we have them all over they are yeah like all over here are all over our property and hold on I'm gonna white out this too and um this is the time of year that they have berries on them and they're like bright purple berries um the berries are pretty overall like the bushes are not they don't have like the prettiest leaves. They're not much to write home about. We've got a lot of them, but we've noticed that the deer like to eat the beauty berries. So I don't know if that's part of why the deer really like to be here or not. But we also, last night we had friends over to play a board game and we played Wingspan, which is a game some of you might be familiar with. Um, it's a game we really like, but it's a bird theme game. And the thing that's cool, it has tons of cards. And we have one of the expansions, so we have even more cards for it. It's got a lot of cards and they each have different birds on them. And it's kind of fun when we get <laughs> a card that's like, uh, like somebody last night played the Eastern Phoebe and we had a ton of those hanging out around here in the spring. And we're like, oh, Eastern Phoebe, we've got those. And, and, then, so, and then the barred owl came up, which is our owl that we've had hanging around. And we were like, oh, the barred owl. So that was kind of fun last night when we were playing and we're like, oh, we're getting all these birds that we have here. We should get, we should get extra points for, 
getting um, for birds that we know. Oh, the other thing that I can tell you too, and I will have all the details forthcoming once things are finalized, but I have really good news about the future of Fern Creek and what's going to happen next. So again, details are still getting worked out, but should be everything should be finalized within the next couple of weeks. So you won't have to wait too long, but I'm really excited. I feel like things are coming together really well that's gonna let me keep keep doing Fern Creek, but make it take the less, the smallest amount of my time as possible, but, but keep it going. And so yeah, um, I hate to be evasive, but I, I want to, <laughs> I want to share with you that I'm excited about that, but I don't, um, I've got to get a few things finalized still. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and just put down the full box and the date headers for the other days, just so that the pages don't look totally bare, but I don't think I'm really going to use them. And I'll be curious to hear from you all too, like what, how do you use your planner on um, like days off or vacations or, because on vacations I really don't use my planner. And I know some people do and they like to put stuff down, but like that's, I have occasionally taken, when I was using a weekly planner, I have taken it on vacation and then kind of like used it to memory plan day by day so I didn't have those pages blank in there. And that worked out, but I feel like, yeah. And, and again, it's just, I know I'm gonna have stuff I wanna do, but the day that I do it on doesn't really matter. So a notepad will work just fine. And I think that's part of adapting to yeah, like that. Uh, yeah, being being able to that's that's one of the things that's that's cool about planners is you can adapt it. But I also too, I feel like I've never. There are people who I'm so impressed that can like do like a whole flip of their planner at the end of the year and there's nothing blank. And that's not going to be me because there's sometimes when I just don't have a lot to plan. And that is something that I am wondering about, like what's going to happen when I'm on maternity leave. I've been thinking about like, what will I? What will I want to plan? What will I want to keep track of? Because I do like having, I feel a lot better when I have some kind of a plan, but there's a lot that you cannot plan when taking care of an infant is your focus. Oh, and then I totally forgot to put the full boxes down on those last two. Okay, so there is my base for the week. So let's go and put in the plans. So start by putting in workouts. I'm, on Tuesday, I'll go ahead and put it in really early and we'll see if I end up changing that. It might not actually happen then. I need to, Brian needs to take his car into the shop on Tuesday. So that means I need to go with him to drop off his car and then drive him to work and then pick him up later in the day. So I'll need to leave earlier. So I'll plan for now to, to get up early and work out before I take him, but that might happen later depending on how I'm feeling and if I really want to get up that early. All right, then Monday. One of the other things too about like being in a academic town where most of your friends are also academics is that like when I have a week like this, it's fall break, pretty much everything else that I like normally do that's part of my routine. Okay, I'm, I do not have class at 9 a.m. I do not need to put that in there. Um, so like this week, Bible study, small group, book club, like everything else <laughs> is also canceled. So it is a pretty quiet week, which is good. Um, cause hopefully I can get ahead on some, on some of the January designing cause Danielle will want to work extra over break. So if I can get some ex some, get ahead on designing, she'll be able to work on getting that stuff made. And then let's see, I'll just use the dots to mark dinner. And I'm going to make a giant thing of black bean soup on Monday and we will be eating black bean soup and cornbread for several days. So that's that. And 
yeah, that's okay. That's what I've got for Monday. And I will go ahead and just write in my to do's. Well, no, I'll speed you through those. They really aren't very exciting. So I'll go ahead and do those at the end and speed you through them. So then nothing else. Oh, wait, that's not true. I was gonna say nothing else on Tuesday, but that is 100% not true. So I've got a doctor's appointment on Tuesday. Oops. And then I also want to mark, I think I'll just use two of these boxes to mark that I'll need to take Brian in and pick him up. I am glad though, Brian used to take his car to a place in Atlanta to get it serviced. And I am glad he has stopped doing that because <laughs> that was, that was a pain. And it is much easier to take it someplace locally um, than going to Atlanta. Okay, then Wednesday, again, I've got my normal Wednesday stuff or normal like on campus day stuff class and office hours I will be curious to see I do an extra credit thing that it's a bingo card and there's different activities to do to get extra credit and if you you can only do one activity a week so you can't just wait till the end of the semester to do it but you do the different activities and if you get bingo you get the extra credit so I, one of the things is coming to my office hours. So I'll be curious to see if office hour attendance starts to pick up after they just had the first exam and it's getting towards the end of the semester. So hopefully I'll get some students to come to office hours because they want the extra credit. Cause I always want to show them that office hours are not scary and they're helpful and I'm here to help them. But my office hours have been extremely poorly attended this semester. And I guess to be fair, one of my classes, like they're, they're doing great and they don't need to come to office hours. The other one, they should be coming to office hours. And I would love to talk to them. Okay, black bean soup again. This will be a nice Wednesday because it won't be quite as packed as my Wednesdays have often been. So that's really, I mean, again, this, this week is pretty straightforward with really just planning three days. So I'll go ahead and write in the to-dos since those are not too exciting and I'll speed you through those. So that is it, my short and sweet plan with me for this week. So I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you are finding some fun fall things to do if that is your kind of thing. And I will see you all again soon. Bye everyone.